So, uh, once upon a time, we met a girl named Vaida, and she uh, came to us to see some robots and electronics, and she um, quite uh, bravely asked us to make us a m mechanical device to uh, guide her around. And uh, we have uh, failed a few attempts, and we have uh, presented an idea yesterday, uh, I mean Friday, and we have a, a prototype here uh, that replaces a guide dog that costs more than 10,000 euros, that replaces Vida's friends who have to, uh, well, wake up early in the morning to get her to uh, the university. It replaces uh, all the best current technological solutions that are available for uh, blind or visually impaired people. And it, uh, it uh, yeah, well, it could reach uh, 289 million people over all of the world, and uh, uh, the way we are s we'll be selling it, we'll talk about it if someone asks us. Now we'll show how it works. Awesome. So, uh, if uh, the camera could zoom it in, um, it's kind of trying to do that. I guess the real operator uh, well, got uh, home early. Um, yeah. Um, you can read it all there, but basically uh, we have a depth camera which we have already planned uh, to have a much, well, f 20 times uh, well, smaller. And we have uh, motors on the hand, on each of the fingers. And we'd like some of the, um, or some of the jury who has small hands uh, to come and try it. If someone would be brave enough, uh, please, because it was designed, uh, the glove was designed for a uh, woman. Well, funnily enough, we have yeah, a woman yeah. on. Yeah, run up, run up, because we, we have it, a minute for it that. Don't fit your hands, it's too small. We, we need a lady. And lady. basically, uh, <clears throat> when you touch the screen, the place you touch, uh, the computer knows uh, how far it has to be and uh, correspondingly uh, raises your finger or, uh, well, makes it further. So the feeling is very competitive to uh, touching a, uh, well, embossed uh, image, only uh, around 30 frames per second. So you can touch everything you point the device to in real time. And what's interesting also is that you could use it for, uh, well, things you cannot uh, see uh, currently, well, for things you can touch, basically. Uh, those could be movies and other things. Wow, and other things. Wow, what a way to end. So I think we have to have one of the jury try this, and I the know they that, made that's a winning as, tactic. As I mentioned, uh, IO target audience is that one blind girl, the first one. Could you please a little bit uh, expand on the market situation, what is available for what, yes, and of course. what is the, your competitive mm -hmm. advantage? Uh, we've done a uh, patent search by professional patent attorneys, and we've seen that uh, there are similar things uh, patented, but the end we have also tried, uh, well, uh, an idea of ours that's much more complex, uh, similar to other ideas that are much more complex and tens of times more expensive than this idea we are showing here to you uh, for free and uh, basically open sourcing it. I'm also from the same team. Uh, I could add that well, there are several groups of applications. Uh, there are business applications, there are uh, other applications. So the first thing is that you can uh, touch and feel that you cannot see. And the second thing is that you can touch, that you can see, but you cannot touch, actually. And uh, well, there are more precise uh, applications in every sphere, and we can explain them on the use and on uh, the competitors in every field. So um, you are the uh, business developer on Zentib, yes? So do you have a vision of how this device can save the world one day? Um, well, firstly, we would uh, get a lot of uh, new people, uh, active uh, participants of the society who cannot uh, well, engage right now because of some uh, losses. Uh, secondly, uh, we could uh, start communicating with our devices uh, cheaply and much more interestingly. We could uh, touch uh, through Skype. 
So, uh, just whilst you're taking a brief pause there, I just had a quick chat with our jury member up on stage, Asta, and she said, wow, it, I, I can really feel what I see. Woo! So. I, I could add that touching technology is a little bit different from the other technologies like night vision, for example. There are some specific use cases where you can well, feel more that you can, than you can uh, see with uh, uh, visual aids. For example, some visual aids, uh, like uh, imagery, doesn't work in absolute darkness, and this works in absolute darkness. So that if, if the world becomes absolutely dark, for some parts it, it may save the world. All right, any more questions from the jury? Thank you. It works. Fabulous. What more do you need to know? All right, guys, there's no more questions. You get away with it easy this time.